Practice. Welcome to our ninth lesson of our certification training for the exam MO300, so Microsoft Office Specialist PowerPoint Associate 2019. And in today's lesson, we will finish the second chapter of certification objectives, and namely, we will learn to hide and unhide slides, modify individual slide backgrounds insert slide headers, footers and page numbers, order and group slides. So in this category we'll learn to create sections, modify slide order and rename sections. So yeah, let's begin with the first objective which is to hide and unhide slides. And yeah, so to hide your slide you will right mouse click on the slide and click hide slide like that and you can notice that there's a slash indicator and the slide is whitened so that's how you know that the slide is currently hidden and to unhide this slide we will right mouse click the slide again and click hide slide like that next objective modify individual slide backgrounds so to do that we go to the design tab format background and there is a vari variety of options so let's go through them quickly solid fill so the slide will be uniformly filled with one color we can set the color here so for example like that and notice that on the exam you will be asked to set a certain color with certain names so you should acquaint yourself and be comfortable looking through those names and so on okay next up we have gradient fill this is kind of advanced and probably won't be on the exam so you can set a gradient with one color on the left and another on the right you can at various points you can set the angle in which the gradient is set like that what will be or at least was in my case on the MOS exam was to set the picture or texture fill so here you can insert picture as a background for your slide but for example I was required to set some kind of texture so whether it might be the denim texture or the water droplets texture and so on okay and next up you have certain pattern fills so you can always look and go through these options okay and you can also as we learned in the must view lesson you can hide background graphics like that so let's reset the background perfect and let's go to the next objective which is to insert slide headers footers and page numbers and we can of course go to this slide so to insert those we go to the insert tab and here under the text category we have the option to insert header and footer so you can see that there's also quite a few options here so we can set date and time we can insert slide number and footer so yeah for example just what is happening oh I have okay so like that and we can also choose to not show the header and footer on the first slide so let's do that let's apply to all and you can see that in on each slide we have the text footer we have our slide number and there's nothing on the first slide perfect the next objective is to create sections within your presentation so there are a few ways how to achieve it you can always click in the sl on the home tab in the slides category the section button and inside the section 
yet I prefer options that don't require you to move your mouse a lot so you can simply click on the slide or click in between the two slides right mouse click and choose add section okay and I will name the section manage I will name the section just first okay mm -hmm. okay and notice that all the following slides will belong to the section to the section so to create another one just click the slide add section second so I will create here five sections add section mm -hmm. third like that perfect fourth uh -huh. and fifth perfect so we have created individual sections for our presentation and another objective is for example to rename those sections so when you want to rename it you just click on the name of the section right cl right mouse click and click rename section yet I will leave it like that fifth section and another thing you need to know for the most exam is to modify slide order so in this view you can always simply click slide hold it and move it around like that fairly simple what I like to do is to always choose the slide sorter view when you want to move your slides so even in the slide sorter view you can for example choose a certain range of slides and move it around like that you can also click or select uncontinuous range of slides for example these and also move them as a group like that and in the slide sorter view you can for example easily move another section so just click on the section name and you can see that I can move the first section for example before the first section and now it's at the beginning of the presentation so that's how you can move slides in your presentation and I encourage you to play with those options that's all for today's lesson i hope you find it valuable if so smash that like button please subscribe because most of you who are now watching are not subscribed and yeah guys see you in the next time